Hey everyone, alright, so right now I'm sort of right in the middle of VEDA, today is VEDA day 12, um, and we're still going strong, so that's really great, um, but I'm going to do like a sort of mini-series, um, I guess, within VEDA, um, and it's just going to be my top five, and I'm going to do my top five kind of all kinds of different things. Um, today I'm going to do my top five movies, um, and I plan on doing a few more videos with different things that are my top five. Um, if you have any suggestions for things that you would like me to list, um, you can do that in the comments down below or you can send me a private message. But I just thought this might be kind of neat um, because that way if you share the same likes that I do or whatever we can talk about it and I always love to hear when you know I have something that's a, a favorite of mine and I hear somebody else um, also finds that to be a favorite. Um, and then we talk about it, and it's just, I really love to do that, so that's why I'm going to be doing this, so this is going to be my series, my top five. Um, so yeah, so starting off today, we're going to be doing my top five movies. Okay, so starting with number five, um, my number five favorite is called The Young Victoria, it's with Emily Blunt. Um, as the young Queen Victoria. I just really love that movie. Um, I love sort of all things British monarchy and I just thought it was a really cute movie and I just, you know, you kind of hear about Queen Victoria and she was like an old, like, widow and just cranky and and whatnot and it was nice to see like a film depict her, you know, young and in love and newly to power and yeah, I just thought it was really well done and so yeah, that's my number five. Okay, so my number four is Pride and Prejudice. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the older one, which I think was done in like the late 80s, um, early 90s. My mom really likes that one because she likes Colin Firth, um, and I like Colin Firth too, but um, nonetheless, I like the new one with uh, Keira Knightley. Um, I can watch that anytime, anytime it's on. I really, really enjoy that movie. My number three favorite is probably uh, the same as a lot of you um, on there. I think a lot of women especially would have this on their top five favorite movies, um, and it is The Notebook. It is just... Awesome. I love. I have a huge thing for Ryan Gosling. I mean, who doesn't? Um, I love that he's a Canadian boy, and I'm Canadian, so I always kind of root for the Canadian boys. Um, but yeah, I love. I love Ryan Gosling, and I love Rachel McAdams, who's also Canadian. And I just thought it was really well done. I really believed it. I mean, I believed it probably because they were an actual couple at the time. But. Um, yeah, it's just it's just a great movie, and I cry every single time, every time I watch it, and I've seen it quite a few times. My number two on my top five favorite movies um, is a series of movies, and I couldn't separate them into which one I preferred the most. So it's just, they're all going to be my number two, and that is, of course, the Harry Potter series. I love the Harry Potter series. Um, I'm a huge fan of the books, and I just love the films, and... I, I love sort of series of, of films and books, to be honest, um, and this, it's just, it's, there's nothing bad that I can say about it, it's just, it's a wonderful film series, and they just got better each time. I think probably my favorite within, um, within the series is probably Deathly Hallows Part 1, I really enjoy it, I mean, I loved both of the Deathly Hallows series. Um, but probably Deathly Hallows Part 1. I also really liked Prisoner of Azkaban, um, is another favorite. Um, yeah, those are probably my top two out of that series, but on the whole, Harry Potter is my number two on this, on this list. And my number one favorite movie is also a series, but I consider it to be one movie. Um, and you probably have already guessed it if you've seen my 10 things that you might not know about me video. Um, and it's The Lord of the Rings. I love me some Lord of the Rings. To be honest, I don't know if I would love Lord of the Rings as much if it didn't come with like all of the extended editions and the bonus features and stuff like that. I think that kind of made me love it even more. Um, but I just, I love it all. I love the, the fantasy of it. I love that it's fantastical and sort of historical. Um, it's not just like fantasy. It's a fantasy that's based in reality. And I just think that Tolkien did an amazing job in creating the world 
uh, that is Middle Earth, and Peter Jackson just did an amazing job of kind of bringing that to life. Um, I'm someone who read the books after seeing um, the movie, and to be honest, I, I prefer the film series um, to the books. I think a lot of people are going to kind of not like that I said that, but I really do. Just for me, I found the books really hard to read, probably because they were written um, and have a certain way of talking or whatever. They had a way of speaking at that time that it was written. And I just find it hard to kind of get in, get into the books. I found them a really hard read. And so being able to just visually see the world was just wonderful. And I can just, I can still get lost in it now. And it's, you know, been, I think the first one came out in 2001 and I still love, love them. Um, my favorite one is Fellowship of the Ring out of the three. Um, I just love Hobbiton and yeah, that's why I like that one the best. But yeah, go figure. My number one is Lord of the Rings. So I thought I would do an honorable mentions just because I do really like these other two films, but they, they're definitely not top five, but I do really enjoy them. Um, the first one is Atonement. Um, it is with Keira Knightley and it has uh, James McAvoy in it. I just really liked the pace of the movie, um, and to be honest, I also kind of have a thing for James McAvoy. I don't know. Um, so I really like that film, and then my other honorable mention is Becoming Jane. I love Jane Austen, um, hence, you know, the reason why I like Pride and Prejudice is one of my, what number was that, number four? Um, but also in Becoming Jane, it has James McAvoy in it, so <laughs> I do have a crush on him. It also has um, Anne Hathaway in it, and I really like her as well. Um, not in the same way that I like James McAvoy, but nonetheless. Those are my two honorable mentions. I encourage you to do this as well, um, and if you have any ideas for me for another top five that you would like to hear, please let me know. Other than that, I will see you tomorrow. Alright, bye.